on. Got this book here. Look, Serpent and the Rainbow. Look, uh, anyway, they're testing this medicine, right? Or the zombie, the zombie powder. Do you have any idea what it might be used for? I asked. There's no way of knowing right now. Do you have any guesses? Perhaps cardiovascular surgery. It's curious how the heart remains unaffected while the body is totally anesthetized. Also in, look, this is the, the, also in psychiatry, it might be used in the treating of some thing like, ooh, it's getting, look, psychotic excitement as a tranquilizer? Of sort, there's one thing Dr. Nate Klein ever talked to you about, the experimental hibernation. Look, uh, look. This dude's basically, right here, he's like, look, just so for your, uh, look, freaking, uh, where's that, man, freaking, uh, right here, I had never actually paused to consider whether or not the zombies truly existed, uh, it, it, anyway, man, look. This is also, this is also interesting right here, is the dude figures out that there's historical, like, uh, records of people going into comas and dying from eating, um, puffer fish. And actually it was in vogue in, in, uh, Japan, and it, these people thought of it as a delicacy, and they were always freaking dying like uh from eating it like but they didn't care that people died and they ate it anyway it was like playing russian roulette but basically it makes your body feel numb and you get some kind of weird uh, uh residual effects from eating it but basically they found out that uh um that people were having a coma and they were burying them and they were waking back up from the dead like look like a zombie right but anyway, I just find it's freaking it's freaking crazy that it's it's referenced in here that they use the zombie medicine, which is like frog, frog agitated frog mixed with freaking uh like uh, uh puffer fish and uh, ground up human bones, man, from a freaking uh. uh a skeleton of a of a young girl, actually, it said. Uh, and I heard that the ninjas also, man, like, this dude said they would take uh, worms from out of people's shit, excuse my French, and grind them up in a pestle into some kind of powder. And you could sprinkle that in somebody's food and they would pass out and go to sleep. It's the same thing as this, man, like, the occult technology... Medicine's a form of technology, I guess people consider it now, but it's really just the occult. Like, and it's just, uh, look, this, it, and this was called fugu, toxic fugu. Preparations were not zombies, but were merely poison victims. Right here, look, uh, uh, look, in the drug, for example, in the northwest rainforest of Oregon, there are a number of native species of hallucinogenic mushrooms. Like, uh, there's a, like, I know of a drug flower, a uh, ghost pipe, for instance. I've never seen them in the wild, but I've heard of them. And, uh, for instance, there's one. Uh, but it's really a flower, but it looks kind of like a, a mushroom. Anyway, um... Look, uh, zombie poison might only be a pleasant hallucinogen. Oh, anyway, yeah, with, it, with when it's for, foraging for edible mushrooms. See, this is another. Uh, those who go out in the forest and deliberately intend to ingest these mushrooms generally experience a pleasant intoxication. Those who inadvertently consume them while foraging for edible mushrooms. Uh, look, end up in the poison unit of the nearest hospital. The mushrooms hasn't changed, only the context of which the situation went down. <laughs> anyway, freaking, 
I was talking about mushrooms recently, like a lot. Uh, even in the fungus thing, right? And and look, and it pops up in the book. It's like the synchronicities, uh, like that uh, Bob Larson in the Name of Satan book. Man, that was a that was a, that was a trip. It's a trip, man. When you, it's almost like sometimes you get little downloads, man. And uh, look, Voodoo Death. This is basically like, okay, it's like a suggestion, man. It's like when you condition people to believe that if they're cursed, for somehow they believe it in their mind so much that they actually die. And it uses all these examples of uh, like someone getting a bad, like false, like a placebo almost, like false diagnosis of something bad and then them believing it so much that they be, they die, freaking from the fear and the anxiety and the depression that come in from the thought of it, and then it said they were. It's weird because I've heard this also in in the dim mock, which means the touch of death, and they say that it's really just hypnosis from a cult setting from these uh, kung fu masters who are really just magicians and like Jim Jones, and they indoctrinate people. And it's the same thing in faith healings when, like, dudes come up and slap down people and they fall down. And they're saying, is this really the power of God? Or are people just doing it because they're expected to do it and they're playing along in the play and the script? Uh, anyway, that's, that's this is related to voodoo death. Which just means, like, you can psych someone into believing the curse so much that it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like, and they say it's a form of suggestion... Or, uh, yeah, like, suggestion. That's also weird, man. And it's like, look, on, uh, uh, freaking, uh, on the internet in the chat today, we were talking about sc scrying. And they're saying the phone, is, the phone is a modern scrying mirror. I mean, dude, really, technology, the occult, uh, alchemy, uh, sorcery, uh, uh pharmacy, look, uh, it's all freaking connected, man. Uh, but anyway, I realize the re what mere gazing is is just trance induction, uh, and it's a portal to narcissism. If you're just staring there, staring at yourself in the mirror all day, like worshiping yourself, like that, the doing it is a form of meditation, but kind of like evil meditation that induces a trance on yourself, like self. Hypnosis, which is a kind of a form of uh, kind of witchcraft in a way, uh, and it's 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 documented that it's bad for you to do in the, in the fables from the the ancient stories, you know, uh, from Greece. I mean, that's actually even though that's a fairy tale kind of format or legend myth whatever that that is true that it, now in this day and time when you got narcissists and uh like just selfish self-absorbed people uh and it's rampant and it's just really hurting society it's it's hurting the human race you know the uh it's hurting mankind it's to that point uh but it's the same thing with, with, this is a very, uh, like, look, forceful, slavery, like, domination, uh, witchcraft. Witchcraft is like, by any means, we're gonna take you down and we're gonna make you a slave. Uh, type of a mindset created the zombie potion. And it takes, it is quite a, a process of making this stuff to where it's like, it, there's a lot of intention and a lot of, like, uh, uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, energy expended in, in making someone appear to be dead so you can dig them up later and their brain will be wiped chemically and you can just put them to work in the field and they'll have amnesia and you just be like, yeah, this is what you've been doing your whole life, buddy. This is what you're just supposed to do day in and day out. And, and literally the poison hurts a part of your brain that just makes it so that you can't, uh, you have no will. That's the thing. Like, look, through the chemical. Not only chemical, but they also beat you. 
they dig it. Look, there's advanced ritual in order to uh, really make the zombie uh, like look to 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 break the will, and that's the true magic, I think, of this. And it's just MK Ultra. It's just another. It's a chemical version, but they still use the the group cult, the love bombing group cult kind of. Uh, the the majority rules, or uh, we're the most important of the people around, so we should make the decisions. Kind of a uh, kind of a thing, uh, and uh, it's uh, very evil in a way. It's like you know, and and literally, it, ultimately, they're trying to like uh, take people's soul and put it in a little freaking like a little jar. Uh, for their narcissistic supply. Like literally their supply. Are little souls. Of people that they've. Uh, narcissized. And turned into the into a zombie. And actually the dude's name is look. Claveras Narci. Narcissi. Look. I mean it's so freaking insane. But yeah I guess listen. If you become a narcissist in a way. You're just it's kind of a form of zombie. Uh, you know what I'm saying. It's like zombies don't care about anything they just want supply and they're just they don't care about the other zombies around they don't care about nothing but i mean so in another it's another allegory for a narcopath who's been totally overcome by the you know the cannibalistic domineering uh vampiristic spirit that seeks to dominate and literally consume another person's like life force uh, this is just another way of doing it. You know, you could have this done to you in a fucking relationship. Uh, they can suck your soul a little bit at a time. And then frickin'.